learning about the sepia. The sepia belongs to the phylum Mollusca, which also includes snails and octopus. Um, it belongs to the class Cephalopoda and the order Decapoda. Now, the reason it belongs to the class Cephalopoda is because the anterior region, as you can see, has the mouth which is surrounded by circumoral appendages. The circumoral appendages has the smaller ones, smaller arms and the larger tentacles. On the dorsal side, you can see that there is an internal shell and uh, it is colored bluish black because of the presence of pigments called chromatophores. On the ventral side, you will see that the coloration, which is which was dark in color on the dorsal side, is really less because this is because the chromatophores are lesser and there is the presence of iridophores. On the dorsal side, um, on the head, on the lateral, you can see two large eyes. On the ventral side, when you turn it, turn the organism around you will see the funnel or the siphon which is prominent. Now the funnel is the channel of exit of um, excreta or spermatophores um, from the organism, from the mantle cavity which is present inside the body and into the outside. In order to expose the digestive system, what we have to do is remove the shell which is present internally. This is the shell, the internal shell which is extremely important because it helps the organism to balance inside the water. It is used as a flotation device. Then, the anterior region of the shell is called the proostracum and the posterior region terminates into a spine. Now we shall be exposing the digestive system. In order to expose the digestive system, you can see that there is a membrane covering it. We shall now be cutting that membrane. In order to remove the membrane, we make a cut from the anterior towards the posterior side. Digestive system, that is the mouth, lies inside the head, which is why we have to cut open the the head starting from the anterior side. In this manner, we will be able to expose the mouth. The mouth then progresses into the buccal mass which is joined inside the viscera through the esophagus. As soon as you expose the viscera, you will be overwhelmed by the inflammation that hits your eyes. This is because all the systems present inside the animal will suddenly be visible. In this case, we will trace the digestive system starting from the mouth, the buccal mass and into the esophagus. The esophagus at the anterior end contains a pair of salivary glands present on its two lateral sides. The larger gland that you see below, the salivary glands, are the digestive glands called the liver. The esophagus can then be traced down to the stomach and the cecum. Esophagus runs down from the anterior to the posterior. We also come across another gland associated with the digestive system called the pancreas. The pancreas are composed of vesicles, which are the reason for its feather-like appearance. The cecum continues into the intestine, which runs from the posterior to the anterior side and is parallel to the esophagus. The intestine continues into the rectum, which passes on into the anus. The anal valves are provided on the two lateral sides of the anus. Now the reason why this particular duct is seen as black in color is because the anus is also the portal of exit of the ink duct. The ink duct connected to the ink gland is an extremely important feature of sepia officinalis.
important to remember that the ink gland has no particular function related with digestion but it is associated with the digestive system simply because its portal of exit through the ink duct is into the anus. The sepia ink is dark blue or black in color and is discharged into the mantle cavity, mixes with the water and passes out through the siphon to confuse predators when it is threatened. In order to clear all the concepts, we started with the anterior end. When we cut the head region, we could see the mouth which contained the jaws. We passed down to the posterior side while passing the pharynx or the buccal mass. The esophagus which was joined to the mouth on its lateral side contained a pair of salivary glands, a pair of digestive glands or liver and the pancreas. The esophagus ran down to the stomach and the cecum which are two different chambers. The stomach and the cecum combine to form the hepatopancreatic region which then joins to the intestine. The intestine runs parallelly to the esophagus and takes this particular digestive system to the anterior side. The intestine is then joined to the rectum, the rectum to the anus. The anus contains the two anal valves which are feather like. We saw the ink gland and the ink duct which also open through the anus into the mantle cavity. Part of the digestive system is the presence of jaws and radula inside the mouth. In order to expose them, we have to first tear open the mouth. We will be able to see a pair of three strong jaws. One, and the second one present below that. Another structure that we obtain present right below the second jaw is the radula or the rasping organ of sepia.